ho 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 cuties and Merry Christmas! Um, as I promised, I am going to post another video, so this is the second video, even though I haven't posted the first video I made, but they'll both get posted about the same time. So, in this video, I wanted to talk about... Sorry, my dog's on the floor. It's a big dog. Arr. Okay, anyway, um, let me see. For this video, I wanted to talk about the progress I've made as far as transitioning and all that stuff. So, um, <clears throat> I know, like, my last video left you guys maybe like, oh, okay, what happened? Because I said I had an appointment with my therapist, and I never really got back to you guys on that. So, let me explain what happened. So, um, what was it? I think last Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember. But last Wednesday or Thursday, I went to go see my therapist. Um, and I spoke to her about what was going on and all that stuff. And I spoke with her about getting a letter to, um, qualify me? No, that doesn't sound right. To clear me on on getting hormone therapy so that I could start. So she said that we could definitely do that and what we were gonna do, we would make another appointment and then on the next appointment we would actually write the letter so that I can give it to endocrinology. So I ended up doing that, sorry, I ended up doing that, I ended up um, scheduling another appointment. My appointment is for the 7th, I think? the second Wednesday in January, let me see what day that is, I think it's either the 7th or the 9th, but let's see, I had it in my head, and I completely forgot, um, oh, the, well, that's February, the 9th, the 9th of January is when my appointment with her will be to get that letter. So, um, I also got a phone call from Dr. Shepard before she went on holiday vacation, um, telling me that, um, she found some good resources for me. She found an endocrinologist at the VA that's familiar with, um, male to female feminization. Um, that's an expert in her field, I guess relatively an expert in her field. I don't know how much of an expert, but you know, an expert in her field, or she she's very familiar with it, at least. So she recommended her to me. She said, like, when I call to um, request that I be seen with her. So I was really excited about that. She also gave me the information of a social worker that also works at the VA and handles transgender issues. Um, obviously, uh, I wanted to... I wanted to call them... Uh, or I wanted to call the endocrinologist on Friday to set up an appointment. If you hear all of that, that's my dog. I don't know if you can hear the the tapping. Actually, you know what? Let's say hi to my dog. Oh, can you see him? Oh, there he is. Say hi to me. Say hi to me. Oh, to me. Okay. So, one of my dogs made an appearance. He's my little partner in crime, my little bed buddy, because he always sleeps next to me in bed. So, but anyway, back to my story. Um, let's see, what was I saying? Shit. I always do this shit. Um, they are saying? Okay, um, the endocrinologist, yes. So, I wanted to call them on Friday because, you know, I wanted to allow them the time to contact me, and if they didn't contact me, I would have called them on Friday. But when I called on Friday, I guess maybe I waited too late. Like, it was like 3 o'clock, and nobody picked up in that department. So, um, I'm going to have to wait till Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, which is... Shit which is, what is it, what is it, this coming Wednesday is, 
the 26th. So I'm going to have to call them on the 26th to schedule my appointment. Ideally, I want my appointment after my endocrinology appointment, so either after the 9th or on the 9th that afternoon. If I do it on the 9th, then I have to miss a day of work, so I don't know if I want to do that. I might like try to schedule it for, let's see, for Monday or Tuesday maybe um the 14th or the 15th so sure enough hopefully by the end of january beginning of february i'll be on hormones yay so i'm excited for that things are moving slowly i didn't proceed any matters with um the psychologist that i dealt with at the va because i do want to give him the benefit of the doubt um how he how they ended up explaining it to me is that um what's it called that he wanted to get a referral from endocrinology first before he could do anything so you know i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt see if endocrinology gives me a referral to psychology say, stating that i need psychological counseling i need counseling for what i'm going through and if not you know then i know what measures i have to take in order to solve this issue like um you know i i don't want to ruffle 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 i don't want to like create any drama or anything like that or like get anybody in trouble because that's not the type of person i am so you know i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt i'm gonna wait till after i see endocrinology and see if they can refer me to him and then if not like then I'll handle it at that point. Then I'll see about going to the fees office and going with the doctor I've been seeing this whole time. Hopefully, I'm kind of hoping that they can't help me because to go through this with another doctor again is kind of a little much. So I would just prefer to go with my the one I've been seeing so far because she already knows what I'm going through and stuff like that. So um, that's pretty much it with that with the whole transgender issues um like i said there's more to develop as time goes by like on wednesday i might have more information as far as i go my endocrinology appointment and stuff like that and if i was able to get the doctor that i'm hoping to get for that um the other thing i wanted to really briefly do is welcome my new subscribers and also thank them for subscribing um i want to welcome fun one to know i hope i'm saying all of these right but hopefully you guys know who you are so fun one to know um corn smith julie montreal Wendy eleven thirty seven two a Charlotte Somer and Morpheus fifty nine seventy four. So those are the people I want to welcome and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I hope you find me entertaining. I mean you subscribe, so I'm thinking maybe a little bit you find me entertaining. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I hope I'm informative, whatever, to you guys. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is <clears throat> New Year's is coming up, so I'm hoping all of you have safe plans and all that stuff. And I hope you guys are being safe on Christmas Day today and are enjoying it with your family and all that stuff. But New Year's is coming up, so I was thinking of some New Year's resolutions. Um, <clears throat> let me know what your New Year's resolutions, whether it's in a comment or a video response or or whatever i mean let me know i mean you can keep it to yourself you don't need to tell me but um either way you know i would like this to be a little bit more of an interactive channel i would love to know what you guys are doing and for new year's or what plans you have as of now i think i'm going to see my family on new year's but that's pretty much it as far as new year's resolutions they're still work i'm still kind of working on them obviously i'd like to move more into my transition and then also i would like to develop my channel a little bit more i would like to in the new year definitely start some giveaways and stuff like that so um that's pretty much it that's all i have to really tell you guys right now um like comment subscribe share if you dare and um 
I hope you guys are all safe today. I hope you guys enjoy all the time with your family and all that stuff. And Merry Christmas. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Bye and take care. Bye.